Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the features of the drone and we're going to do a quick flight test. Once the arms are unfolded, it's very easy to set it up. It's like all the other DJI drones. All you have to do is match the white markings and press the prop down on the motor and twist it to secure it. In my last video, I mentioned about this drone having a better camera than the previous one. It has a half inch image sensor. It does 4K recording at 60 frames per second. It also does 4K HDR video at 30 frames per second. It can also take 48 megapixel photos. Since it has a big aperture f2.8, so it should perform good at low light as well. In my previous drone, Mavic Zoom 2, it had 360 avoidance system, but this one only has front and back obstacle avoidance system. It also has sensors in the bottom for precision lending and an LED light for nighttime flights, which can be switched on and off at any time during the flight using the function button in the remote. They have done some major changes in the remote. It certainly has gone a lot bigger and it has a better grip. Since it has gone bigger, now it has a bigger battery as well, which means it can now charge the phone, so no worries if the phone is low on power. To attach the phone, the bracket at the top needs to be pulled out and the cable that attaches to the phone is located under the bracket. One thing you must have noticed that there is no more antenna in the remote, which I think is a very good move. In the new remote, they have also moved around the keys the record button is in the front right and the toggle button for moving the gimbal is on the left. The camera switch button on the right, there are no more customizable button at the bottom. Instead, there is only one function button in the left. Then there is the power button and the return to home button. And this drone uses the new DJI Fly app. In the left side of the drone, it has a USB-C port to access the data in the internal memory. And in the other side, it has a slot for the micro SD card. It can take up to 256 GB. Since it comes with three different ND filters, ND1664 and 256, I'll quickly show you how to install it. To install the new filter, we have to remove the existing one first and the existing one is just a clear gloss. First of all, hold on to the camera very firmly and be careful because the gimbal system is very delicate. And then twist the filter anti-clockwise. Now to install the new filter, just place it over the camera slightly tilted to your left and then twist it clockwise to securely lock it in place. So now let's power up the drone. the build quality of the drone is very sturdy. It also has front and rear facing LED lights since they're different colored and really bright. That makes it much easier to understand which way the drone is facing while it's in the air. Before I take the drone outside, I'm gonna do a quick test flight indoors just to show you how stable the drone is being a really small in size.
I hope you have enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, then please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. So that's it for now. See you next time.